How about a quick tour? Opening the Mex app, you are met with a familiar sight, the same look and feel of Mex 15. The main menu, complete with each module's sync status. Navigation buttons to take you home and breadcrumbs, indicating to each user exactly where they are in the app. On the right-hand side of the screen, the user information, sync list, and the hamburger menu. Let's start with the main menu. Here you can easily locate assets in the asset register and update asset details. View work and carry out assigned tasks in the work orders. Access all completed work in the history module. Enter readings against equipment. Access drawings and documents. Run reports. If you have stores, access to inventory management options and the ability to add maintenance requests. To give you an idea of the sync status of each module, we have added a module sync state icon. This indicates whether or not data for a particular module has been synced to the device. You can also see your current connection status here. Jumping into stores, our users who have this option enabled can locate parts easily in the catalog and view specific details. View, create and approve purchase orders. Issue parts. Transfer parts between stores. Carry out stock takes. Run specific inventory reports. And perform goods receipt. The hamburger options menu and sync list. The sync list displays all items that are currently being synced. Do note that certain items require you to be in network range in order to sync the data. Opening the hamburger menu, we see a whole host of options to choose from. Here you can configure user options, customize your app with God mode, setting security, making mandatory fields and changing names, allowing you to tailor menus, listings and details forms to suit your needs. Launch document management, where you can manage all documents downloaded onto your device. See a log of all records synced onto your device, including all successful syncs and also any errors that may have occurred. View the MEX dashboard. Change your connection details, along with the server address of your MEX system. Here you can specify sync filters like the trade name, department, contractor, and site. Document storage limits can also be set here, with the allowed maximum size and disk allowance allowed to be used for MEX documents on this particular device. Get MEX help. Change the language. Importantly, change the method of syncing this device is using, choosing between automatic and manual. Confirm your licensing details in About Mex. Log out. Let's create a new asset for our trusty old forklift and work through Mex. From the main menu, tap the Asset Register button to kick off the syncing process. This will display all the assets in the system with the option to browse through the asset or search the asset via a barcode. It's important to note that when selecting a particular asset, a magnifying glass icon appears and upon tapping this, the asset quick view pops up, giving you a summary of the asset's details. To view the full details and make changes, you need to tap the details button. In the asset register, click the new level one button and proceed to enter an asset number and description. Let's call this Fork123 and add a description of Workshop Forklift123. Do note that the tabs that are displayed horizontally on a desktop version are all listed as collapsible tabs vertically, aptly named MEX Accordions. To access each accordion, tap on the name of the tab and it will expand while collapsing all other active tabs. This is the case for all details forms on our new app. On the bottom right-hand side of the screen, you will notice a quick access menu. 
This enables you to jump to any of the Details Accordion tabs. Scroll down and tap on the Extended tab and select the Barcode Number field, adding in the barcode of the new forklift. After you have entered all the information you need for the asset, close out of the asset and this will save it. Creating a work order is a whole lot easier with the new app, with the ability to add one directly from the Asset Quick View on the Work Order section, or through the Work Orders listing. Let's perform the latter, working in the Work Order listing. From the MEX main menu, tap the Work Orders button. This will kick off the sync of all work orders that you need onto the device. As you can see, all listings on the MEX app are just like MEX 15, with a few mobile specific features like MEX 15 style listing layouts and actions. The ability to sort and filter listings, just tap and hold on a row for the menu. Ranges search functionality, as well as a search bar up top. Swipe to close listings and details with the added ability to search via Asset Barcodes or NFC. On the bottom left-hand side of the screen, click the New button. A new Work Order Details screen will pop up. Let's assign the forklift we just created to this work order. In the Details tab, add the required description for the job, including trades you need to do the job. Spare parts required. Documents including images, tasks, reading, and more. Once you have completed the job, return to the Details tab of the work order and tap Close Work Order. This closes off the job to history and you can get on with your work. Earlier in this video, we added a barcode to the new forklift. Open the History module and let's see what jobs have already been completed for this forklift. Tap the barcode icon and scan the forklift's code. Any historical work orders associated with this asset will be filtered and displayed. Additionally, users can switch selection modes between multi and single and work with multiple items in the listing to perform actions on them. Download the new app from the Google Play Store and through the Microsoft Store for more information, go to www.mex.com.au forward slash new features.